Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing the latest release by Altenew. I have the whole release here, we are going to take a quick look on what's included and then I'm going to share a couple of cards. This is the Warm Heart, it's a mini stamp set featuring a couple of penguins, there is also an available uh, die if you want to grab that as well. Mini stamp sets are really inexpensive but you can create adorable cards and I'm going to use this one today just to show you an example. This one is the chipmunk and squirrel and uh, it gives you different creatures that you can uh, work with to create a lovely scene. There is also grass, acorn and even a tree where you can place your critters on top. There are matching dice that you can grab if you like and I think that if you are a fan of creating little scenes then this is a great stamp set for you. The next one is a large stamp set which is perfect for friendship cards. It gives you this big coffee cup that you can stamp different things inside. There are uh, little straws that you can work with, a line of dots, there are hearts that you can stamp to decorate your coffee cup and tons and tons of sentiments that can be used perfectly in any kind of friendship cards. There are also matching dies available that you can grab separately, I just like to store everything together. Let's move on to a big background stamp. This is the Birch Forest and it gives you this lovely row of trees that you can stamp on your background. All you have to do for this type of cards is to just stamp a sentiment and stick it on top. The stamp is big so you can use it in any orientation, horizontally or vertically. It gives you lots of sentiments underneath and I think this would make the perfect masculine card. And now let's take a look at the flower stamp sets for October. This is my absolute favorite and I will be working with this today. I absolutely love the design on these flowers. These are the simple roses. You get different flower sizes so you can create your own flower composition. There are available masks as well as matching dyes. I can predict that this stamp set is going to be a big hit this month so if you like it go ahead and grab it before it sells out. And this is the Hydrangea, lovely big focal point for the top of your cards. You can color it in with your favorite mediums and you get loose leaves and flowers as well. And of course, just like always, many different sentiments. Keep in mind that Altenew always comes up with matching dies for all their stamp sets, even if I don't show it every time. And finally, here is one of the layering stamp sets. It's called Sweet Flowers, they give you the outline image that you can color in with your favorite mediums, but if you want to quickly color it in, then you can use the layers, stamp one on top of the other and you will end up having a very realistic looking flower with no effort at all. So for my first card I'm going to create a little scene for my penguins and I want to use this mini stamp set though, so that you can see that although it seems very small, you can create really adorable cards with them and they are inexpensive. So I'm going to start by inking up my background and I have here a couple of inks. I will use my blending brush for all the blending today and I do have a paper towel where I just clean it quickly. I have one brush for all the shades of blue and just for the sake of this video I am going to start by blending first the darker shade and then I will move on to the lighter so you will see that there is no issue with contaminating the ink pads while uh, using the same brush. Now this is in fast forward, however I'm not pressing the brush at all. I'm just loading ink and then very uh, lightly I'm applying that on my paper. I prefer to do that a couple of times to ink up the brush and then move on and uh, apply my blending rather than uh, oversaturate the paper from the beginning. This way I end up having a lovely blend. Once I'm happy with the outcome I'm going to peel off the masking tape and this is going to be my ocean. Now I'm going to do the sky, before that I need to clean up the brass. For that I'm using my paper towel roll, I'm going to make sure that I clean up the brass a few times and then I'm ready to move on to the lighter ink. The darker ink that I used before is ultramarine while the one that I'm using now is iceberg. Notice that as I apply the color I'm making sure that I don't cover up the whole area with the same amount of ink so I end up having lighter and darker areas so that the image doesn't look too flat. 
I'm going to use my Misty and I'm stamping the penguins. For that I'm using black ink and this is permanent ink so that I can do a little bit of shading with a grey marker where I feel like I need to have some shadows. I'm going to use the matching die to die cut the image and this is going to be my focal point. Now just because I want this to be grounded somehow, I want to have a nice floating on top of the ocean. For that I'm going to use my pencil, draw some uh, sketchy lines. Once I was happy with the drawing, then I'm using a black marker and I found one that has uh, about the same uh, uh, thickness as the lines of the penguin, so they look as if they are part of the same stamp set. I went over the pencil lines and then used my scissors to cut it. And now I can create my little scene. So I'm going to stick this iceberg using my Nouveau Deluxe glue on top of my background and then I have some foam scores at the back of my penguins and they are going to go on top. To add some fun element I did use some uh, dies that I had by Simon Says Stamp that cut out different sizes of hearts and I'm going to use a tiny little red heart which I'm going to stick on the baby penguin just for a touch of red there and I think it makes the card super cute. Now all that's left to do is to stick this on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and add the sentiment. And here are some close-up photos on the finished card. This mini stamp set is only $4.99 and I think it creates adorable cards. Now let's move on to my favorite flower stamp set for this month. Altenew is famous for their flower stamp sets, but this one is exceptionally beautiful. In the leaflet that is included with the stamp set, you can see some examples on how you can put together flower compositions. The design of these flowers really talks to me, so I'm going to create a card having a watercolor look and feel. So first of all, I'm going to stamp those uh, flowers, all of them, including the leaves and uh, the little bud and I'm using permanent ink and I'm stamping on watercolor paper. Once I have everything stamped and to make my life easier, I'm going to apply clear embossing powder. This is going to create a barrier in between all those petals so when I go ahead and color with lots of water, nothing is going to bleed out of the different petals. The way that I choose which type of the coloring medium I'm going to go with every time depends on the area that I need to color. So for example here I have quite of a big petals and uh, I don't like coloring big areas with my alcohol markers because I don't like how much time I need to spend to have a good blending in larger areas. That's why I'm going to go with my watercolor brushes which I find really easy to work with and they create super easy blends. First of all, I am applying on my leaf some clear water and then I'm going to touch the area with my darker shade of green and that was just green, while the lighter one that I am using is called lime. Just for the fun of it, on the other side of the leaf I'm going to bring in a little bit of mango smoothie. This is one of the newest colors from the latest set of uh, these watercolor brush markers. You will find everything linked down below. So you can see I did uh, remove that uh, ring and I'm preparing my marker so that I can add a little bit of that yellow and blend it in. You can uh, directly do the blending on the paper. And you can omit using uh, water like I did here. However, I find that it makes uh, blending these brushes super easy. So I'm going to repeat the same process for all the leaves. And then I will go ahead and start coloring the flower. For this flower, I'm working with rubellite and I'm going to use a different technique than the one that I used on the leaves. So first I'm applying the color at the base of the petal and then I spray, I'm spreading out the color towards the tip, making sure that I have darker and lighter areas. I'm not going to mix any colors here, I'm just going to color completely the whole flower with rubellite. Then I will do the same process for another flower where I will be using autumn blaze and then for the third and uh, smaller flower I did mix both of these colors. So since I am going for a watercolor look I want these to have some splashes that's why I'm using pure white spray. I'm going to spray some white splashes over there. These are not going to end up looking super bright and uh, super white just because they are going to react with the color underneath. 
I used the matching ties to cut out all the images and now I'm working on my background. I have here the jet black water brush marker and I'm going to add some splashes just so my background doesn't look so perfect and super clean. I feel like those uh, black splashes really add to the watercolor look and feel that I am going for. This is where I play with the die cuts, trying different compositions and uh, trying to decide how this is going to look better and pleasing to the eye. And once I'm happy, I'm going to stick everything down. For the flowers, I went with foam tape at the back to have some dimension, while for the leaves, I'm just tacking them underneath using my white Nouveau Deluxe glue. And these flowers really make a stunning card. I'm going to finish it off by sticking that on a black mat that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to complete the card with a sentiment. Here are some close-up photos where you can see that I finished off the card by adding some little clear bubbles on top of uh, the flowers that look like fresh water droplets. This video is part of a blog hop as we celebrate the October release by Altenew. Make sure to join us because you will see all the products in action, you will get really inspired and you can decide which are the products that are for you. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. You will find links to everything I used linked down below in the description area. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you'll all have a lovely day.